Hello and welcome to Free to Play Friday. Today we will be looking at a um, website that I play at school called Friv. F R I V. Um, so this just has a bunch of smaller games mostly. Um, and you know, there's also a Friv for school. Um, so we're, I'm just going to show off a couple of these. Um, one of my favourites on here is Tasty Planet uh, Dynamite. Hello. So I'm just going to show off the first level and then I'll speed through the rest of the levels. I've done it, my time machine is complete. You're a genius dog. Hey, what's this? Oh, I was experimenting with nanotechnology and accidentally created that. I call it a grey goo. It can eat anything smaller than itself. Dangerous stuff, really. I should probably keep it in a more secure location. You look hungry, little guy. Have uh, some candy. We uh, should make sure that no one feeds it anything. No! You fool! Okay. Fool, you've doomed us all! Uh, the goo actually changes colours depending on what you eat. So it's not just um, the sweets here, it's also all the stuff you eat later on. You get chalk, it changes colours to chalk when you eat chalk. The battery turning bluer. This is a nice little detail, it's better than just looking at a grey blob the entire time. the time machine. Poof. Where'd it go? Where'd he go? The chron chronotonon on particles in the time machine must have caused a local temporal distortion. What? The goo travelled back in time. Meanwhile, 65 million years ago. Where is it? Thank you. 
Asteroid hills through space on a collision course with air. The threat of extinction looms in the sky. Fortunately, this looks like a perfect meal for the Grey Goo. Dinosaurs rejoice that they uh, have been saved from extinction. Perhaps the dinosaurs were uh, premature in their uh, duelations.
65 million years ago, the Earth was eaten. The Earth was gone, so humans never existed, including the scientists who created the goo. Before the grey goo uh, itself, uh, therefore the grey goo itself never existed. Paradoxically, with no goo, the Earth was never eaten. History was restored. All that, all that happened the day before will ever happen again. And you can go for your phone, mobile phone. Well, there's a hard difficulty. Um, but yeah, that all sat basically. Fun little game, next to no replayability. Um, but yeah, there's a bunch more. Let's uh, have a look at a couple of these. Let's see, what have we got? Oh, I remember this one. <laughs> Let's just get one of them. Let's get one of each. Let's get three. Okay. So you have three ammo, which is what? Apparently. Oh. Let's just turn that off so um, I can actually. Yeah, myself, you click and hold to aim. Um, then you have pencils. You have banana rocket, which I completely missed twice. You have pebble bomb, which I completely missed. Well, you get the idea of that one. You get a tennis ball. And you get soap. Oh, come on. Just hit something. How did that not sink you? You're on like literally no health. There you go, sunk. Sunk. And oh, you you just got a direct hit in the face. Yeah, sunk you. I need to actually aim. There we go. That's no, I missed. Let me move forward about. And there you go. Oh come on. There you song kind of hits you, but it didn't do any damage for some reason. Even though that did damage. Come on, get closer, you coward. Okay, I'm gonna shoot. And there we go. And that's pretty much the entire game. Uh, you just repeat that for a while with different bows and everything. Um, what else is, do we have? Um, anything that looks interesting? Let's have a look at this frozen sweet game. Okay, I'm starting to regret this. Also, I'm hoping that this music isn't copyrighted. Okay. Yes, yeah, so it's just one of these. If you enjoy the, these type of games, this type of game, then. Uh, this doesn't really seem to 
change anything up, so if you like it, you'll love it. If you like this type of game, you'll like this game. If you don't like this type of game, then just skip this game. I'll probably uh, speed this up in post. Yeah, so that's probably going to be the exact same for the rest of the game. Um, and yeah, I'm not going to play much more of that because um, it does change up, change up a bit of the balls as you're swinging a bit, and um, that can actually get a bit annoying. Um, let's have a look at this Ballistic Pro thing. Play. Uh, get points for knocking green blocks off the stage. This is the uh, ball swimming area. Okay, yeah. <coughs> Next. Okay. How's that game? Not very entertaining. Um, Papa's Pizzeria. I've already done videos on those games on um free mass games or fun mass games or whatever it was called. I think it was fun mass games. Uh, that's my. Right, this is gonna be the last one we're gonna do for today. New game. Use arrows. Uh, yes, and no. I'll put that in there. Leave the truck. Next up. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. Well, I don't know how to do that. Um, so yeah, that's free, but I'm not going to play all the games on there because there's just so many and I can't be bothered to play them all. But yeah, if you think that, um, that, that looks uh, um, interesting to you, then I would definitely suggest, um, you know, having a look at Friv. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow for hopefully Mario and Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. I'll see if I can get past a bit that I'm stuck on. Um, and if not Mario and Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, then something else. And I might stream Paladins later if I feel like it. Anyway, I'll see you guys in whatever video I do next. Bye-bye.